In the post-COVID era, tourism between Taiwan and Japan is still impossible, but interest in Taiwan is starting to grow in the land of the rising sun. Several restaurateurs have opened new Taiwanese restaurants in Tokyo, catering to young people who are keen for a taste of country they cannot yet visit. And local Taiwanese residents were recently delighted to hold their annual festival in one of Tokyo's most famous parks. After three years of pandemic shutdown, this July, Taiwanese expats in Japan finally resurrected a fond tradition, the Taiwan Festival in Yoyogi Park. These big crowds thought nothing of heading out in scorching weather. Many revelers were Taiwanese people who can't travel back to Taiwan. More were Japanese fans of Taiwan culture. In the post-COVID era, tourism between Japan and Taiwan is still suspended. But culinary culture continues to evolve. A new trend among Taiwanese restaurants in Japan is authentic snacks. Taiwanese snacks are big business in Shinjuku, Shibuya, and even Kamata. It used to be more family-style traditional restaurants. They would attract somewhat older clientele. But now there's more curiosity about Taiwan. It's more the younger generation that likes Taiwan. At first, we thought that it's very rare to get Taiwanese snacks in Japan. We always wanted to bring affordable Taiwanese foods like egg pancakes and guava pork belly buns to Japan. Taiwan snacks are very popular in Japan, but there are lots of challenges in opening a restaurant in Tokyo, especially in the midst of a pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has reduced customer numbers a lot. But we eventually started to get more customers when the clientele from the branch at Soshiki Station on the KQ main line switched to coming here, to the store in Kamata. We were more impacted by the seventh wave of the pandemic. It wasn't just that customer numbers fell. A big effect was that many more of our staff got COVID, which made it very difficult for us to operate. Restaurateurs put a lot of effort into decor to entice customers and lots of the equipment has even been imported from Taiwan. The recipes are carefully designed to reproduce the authentic taste of snacks from Taiwan. I think that when travel becomes possible again, there will be loads of Japanese people wanting to go abroad. The first choice destination will be Taiwan. Of course, since not everyone can go to Taiwan, some people will look for Taiwanese foods in Japan locally. I'm quite optimistic about future tourists, both coming into Japan and going to Taiwan from Japan. Even if there are lots of tourists, they will probably still be quite passionate about Taiwan. These restaurateurs are looking forward to the day when travel between Taiwan and Japan is possible again. They're hoping their efforts during the COVID era will set them up to cater for the travelers of tomorrow.